Well, this is about the whole Bay Area, even Antioch tops the list for mid-sized cities when it comes to potholes. It seems the Bay Area is quickly becoming synonymous with beaches, bridges, cable cars, and potholes. A drive up Herald Street in Oakland will rattle your teeth and shake up your bones, to say nothing of the damage being done to your car as it's pounded by the pavement. No surprise in that the Transportation Research and Innovation Portal in Washington, D.C., just named Bay Area Roads as the worst in the nation. In the Bay Area, they have the roughest roads in the country. 71% of major roads in the San Francisco and Oakland area are in poor condition. So that's probably not news to the drivers who are on them every day. Potholes? Oh, man, it's terrible. Like, my tires here, it's, it's messing up my car, these potholes. The study estimated the bumpy roads cost drivers over $1,000 a year in repairs and tires. And a lot of crack wheels. When you crack a wheel, it's... You really can't fix it. You have to replace a whole wheel. Um, so it can get very expensive depending on. Here at Tires Direct in Lafayette, they're used to dealing with pothole damage. Ramon Lopez drives a lot for work. He says some Bay Area roads make you feel like you're in a third world country. He believes potholes cause accidents. You have to pay attention on, uh, on, on the streets and where you're driving on, on the, uh, um, the pavement, instead of paying attention to the other cars and pedestrians. Transportation study blames the road conditions on lack of funding. California raised the gas tax last year by 12 cents a gallon to patch potholes, but is facing a possible repeal through Prop 6 on the November ballot. It will get worse. Vehicle traffic around the Bay Area, in case you haven't noticed, continues to surge upward. Commercial truck traffic is supposed to increase, and it's predicted that some of those rutted, pothole-filled roads could also lead to declines for area businesses.